Okay. So what are we thinking about? All right, what were we saying about the zoos? Well, the zoos are to save animals. Right. So they yeah. don't die. Right. And also so other people can see them. Right, exactly. Because some animals have become extinct. Yes, they have, right, like no. dinosaurs, but oh, they're you know not alive dinosaurs. anymore. Right, they're not alive anymore. Like cavemen. Mm -hmm. Cavemen And then there's other birds. There's other things, too. There's what they call a dodo bird. I always heard about it when I was a kid. It was called a dodo bird. It's a lot of different birds. they got a lot of strange names. But this is a strange-looking bird with a strange name. But for whatever reason, Tegan, it's gone. It's just gone. I guess people hunted it. I hunted it too much. And now it's gone. So when I was a kid, that's what we always talked about. So I never, when I grew up, I never could go to the zoo and see a dodo bird. I did see a stuffed dodo bird, but I never saw a real one. So that's kind of sad, isn't it? Yeah. That's a whole one of God's creation I didn't get to see. And that's that's unfortunate. And not, not just me. I Nobody else got to see it either, did they? I never got to see a dodo bird. Dodo no. bird. Because... Because not even, no they shouldn't, I, I think I know what the hunters were hunting it for, they were trying to save the dodo bird. No, they might have been hunting it for, for a woman's hats or dresses or something, the, 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 the uh, feathers, they used the feathers. Oh man. A lot of animals got hunted too much for their, for their uh, fur. Yeah, but lawn, there should be a lot. That's why nowadays they, they, they make fur that's it's not real fur, and people are happy with that. It's not quite as nice, but you don't have to kill an animal to get it. Yeah, like a sheep. It's okay with the sheep, because... Well, actually, they were, the they sheep... Were, they were you don't have to keep the sheep... You don't have to kill the sheep to get their wool. No, they, right? you just have to use a Clipper, right. shave right. to shave So off. that doesn't kill them. And, and I actually... I have a jumper made out of sheep's wool. You do? Mm hmm See? And you feel good because the, the sheep didn't die, right? Mm hmm See? So that, that's, that's doubly nice. And there's lots of, there's lots of sheep still laying around in the fields. Mm -hmm. Laying around yeah. in fields. Laying around in the fields. What do you think they're thinking about? I think they're thinking about when will it, when will summer... When's next summer? I think they're thinking about what's for dinner? <laughs> Grass again? What? Grass again? <laughs> Too much grass. <laughs> yeah. Tell that farmer, give us something else. No. Give us some ice cream. No. They're not allowed to eat ice cream. How you know? Because they would get sick and die. Well, we don't know. If they tried something, they might like it. Yeah, they might taste it. Nobody ever gives them it a chance. Might taste good, They're but stuck they, out in the field but, with the grass. Yeah, but they might not. But they might die because. Well, they because could. Sheep, like sheep, like eat other things, like mm -hmm. things around you. Yeah. So, what are your, some of your favorite? You what are some do. of your favorite favorite animals that you can think of? A puppy, a dog. Yeah, I figured you'd say dog. That's my number one too. Maybe you could put pepper in your suitcase and they won't notice. Mm. Yeah, you like that idea, don't you? <laughs> He's like, mmm. <laughs> About putting pepper in my suitcase. Let's sneak them on. Then all of a sudden she'd be in the suitcase barking. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Who is that dog? Where's that dog at? Who brought a dog in here? He's going to be looking in his book. Not me. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure else that fit pepper in there. Now let's see. I when I was, let me see. Let's see. I'll go back. Go back through what we said earlier. I said you could be a a heart doctor and you could be a brain doctor. And what did you say? Um, a brain surgeon, didn't you? Yeah, I couldn't even believe you knew that word, surgeon. <laughs> I don't even believe you knew that word, Tegan. I didn't know the word surgeon until I was 15 or 16 years old, I think. Surgeon? Wow. Yeah, I'm only six. 
I know that's what I'm trying to tell you, buddy. You're ahead of the game. You're ahead of the game. Because at home, I got a book about brains. Oh, you do? I got a book about the brain so I can read. Mm -hmm. I got a brain doctor, which was a brain surgeon. It said surgeon in the book, so it was su brain surgeon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's good. And you know that already. That's amazing. Now, see, I used to read silly books when I was a kid. Do you read the silly books too, like Dr. Zeus? That's what I like. No. You don't, oh, get down, Pepper. You don't read Dr. Zeus? Dr. Zeus book? Uh, One fish, blue fish, red fish, blue fish, however it goes. Yeah, I do. Hey, you, yeah, you read that? Zeus yeah, that's good. Those are some of your first books. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love those. Yeah, I like. Yeah. Now, see, that's I, something you could my do. You could my write first a book. Word was dog. You could write a book. Because I read it off of Go, Dog, Go. Yeah, Dog, Go. Oh, yeah, that's good. But you could write a book, too. That's something else you could do, Tegan. You could write a book. Yeah. I'm then you have to decide what it is you, what it, what is it you want to write a book about. It could be a silly book, or it could be a, a scientific book. Any kind of different books. Yeah, but I'm going to write all different kinds of books. Oh, you are? Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> like, like how things go. Like what? How things go? Yeah. I'll tell it to you. Okay, tell me how something goes. A car goes by an engine. An airplane goes by an engine too. No, it goes by some jets. All right. Mm-hmm. Here, go sit back over there, please. All right, I'll do it. We'll keep you in your, keep you in your special video spot here. Go ahead, it's okay. Keep you in your video spot over there. A car right. runs by an engine. Uh -huh. An airplane runs by jets. And, and what's Pepper run uh, by? Pepper runs by food. Pepper so runs by her feet. Pepper runs by her feet. Yeah, she does run by food. Pepper, dogs and cats run by paws. Puppies, kittens as well. This is a... And also, humans... No, this is, I mean engines, not, not things, how they move, not mm -hmm. how, things, how things go, that's mm -hmm. what it is. An airplane runs by jets, mm -hmm. a car runs by an engine, mm -hmm. people run by food. Mm -hmm. People run by food, that means when they're in a the grocery store they run by the food? No! Oh. No, they eat food oh. to walk. Now who's that man running by the food? He run by the food and stole stole a box of cereal and ran out the door. <laughs> and you know there was a dogs eat food though. You know there was a dog years ago, Tegan, I'm not kidding you, this is true. I got the video somewhere downstairs. He come off the street, this dog he went in the grocery store and picked up a bone and walked out. I'm not kidding you. He went to the grocery and got a bone and walked out. He knew where the bones were. That's true. Somebody, somebody opened the door, you know when they opened the door to go in the store? He came in right behind him on one of those automatic doors. He went right to the aisle. He knew exactly where he was going. He got his bone and he went back out. Only thing he didn't do was pay for it. Yep, isn't that amazing? Pepper can do that. No, she's smart, but she might not be that smart. That's pretty smart, isn't it? 